Hey everybody, this is Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art, and I'm doing a video over. I did a real nice video for you. It looked awesome, and while I was trying to scrape the edges, I tilted too much and it slid, and it took away the whole look, and so I tried to fix it, and I couldn't fix it. I just made it worse. So I scraped it, or sort of scraped it. I took it and I mixed all the paint up. And then I added a couple colors to help it. And it came out to a real nice, light, uh, sort of Robin's egg blue. So um, that's what the base is gonna be. And we're, I'm just gonna bring you down the canvas and we're gonna do this all over again. First, I'm going to, I liked the green in the background and the mix with the flowers. So I wanna do that again. So I ran it and it was really hard. I tried again. But it'll be, the flowers will be over it. What happened last time is I tried to pour it and it made a mess, mess. It got too thick and I had to do some scraping. I'm not doing any better this time either. I just, oh, it's late at night and I'm tired and I'm aggravated that that did that on me. It aggravates me to death when I bake something, it was really pretty. I make something pretty and I mess it up. All right, now that'll put some green behind it like I had. Get this out of the way. Get me a couple new paper towels. Alright. We'll start with bloom number one again. And here we go. Let's see. I'm using the same TLPs from the last video. I've got TLP Grenache. Sapphire, Hammerhead, Supernova, Submarine, Agapanthus, Lilypad, Pebio Iridescent Gold, and then that dark green that I just had was Primary Elements, um, hmm, where'd it go? Primary Elements, Evergreen, and they are from Color Art. Okay, that was the ganache, and I'm going to put Agapanthus down next. And then I'm going to put down, uh, let's put down a little bit Hammerhead. Just a little. Then let's put Supernova. I'm trying to remember the order that I went last time. <laughs> and then Yellow Submarine. And Pebio Iridescent Gold. You know me, I can't go without having some gold. Uh, I'm really bummed. That last one was so pretty, and I let it, I tilted it while I was trying to scrape the sides, and it stretched it all out, and it wasn't pretty anymore, so I just, I couldn't do it. I, I tried to fix it, and I couldn't fix it, and so I just let her go. I 
this scraper. Okay, here's the first one. Now the next one, I'm going to start with sapphire. See how the green comes up from behind it? I liked, I liked that in the last one. And so I did it again. Okay. Agapanthus. And then a little bit of hammerhead. Then some supernova. Yellow submarine. And then good old iridescent gold. Can't go wrong with gold. And then cell activator. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gotta see if there's any cells under that. Guess not. We'll see how she develops. All right. Back with the Grenache. And just a little submarine and some supernova, some yellow submarine. and gold. You know me. Okay, and then our cell activator. Here we go. Ooh, that flower looks cool. All right. Now the supernova. No, I'm sorry. Some, some sapphire. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get it yet. Sapphire. I got panthus. Uh, hammerhead. Supernova. It's amazing how different the bottom color makes the rest of it look. And the yellow. And the gold. And our 
cell activator, which is Amsterdam titanium white, mixed with three and a half, probably this batch was four parts Floetrol, Australian Floetrol to be exact. It creates a better reaction. Okay, now we're ready for Grenache again. And Agapanthus. Hammerhead. Supernova. Submarine. And if you notice these, most of them you can't see much yellow. The other colors kind of eat yellow. Okay. There's our gold. There is our cell activator. Okay, ready for the next one. We have Sapphire. And we have Agapanthus. And Supernova. Nope, I'm sorry. That was Hammerhead. This is Supernova. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yellow submarine. And a beautiful gold, iridescent gold. You know, one thing I haven't tried yet is I have not tried silver yet. And I don't know that I've tried bronze. I need to get those other metallics out and give them a try too. Um, that was the cell activator. Probably could put more shell activator down. And there we have it. Okay, now let's try decorating it up again. I had it so pretty. I better quit pushing too hard. 
just in case the paint won't go back together, which I'm sure it will. But better safe than sorry. Remember, I think I said this. Make sure you wipe your stick off. I may have said that twice already. It never, I can't remember what I said in each video. Because I kept messing up. it. Oh, do I want to do more? See, the last one I did some curly cues and all kinds of things. And this just, it was so pretty. Pretty. I could sit here and almost doodle all day. I think I'm going to stop. It's still not as pretty as the last one. But it's okay. be more careful when I pick this one up to move it and to clean the edges. Let's see what happens. Make sure this one makes it. I'm not picking it up, you guys. I'm going to see if I can bring you down. 
on this thing. As close as I can. Let you check it out. And then I will show you up close for dry results. Because it's just... I don't want to mess it up. I may leave it right where it is. Well, I hope you like that one. The last one was better, and I botched it. I'm going to make sure I be very careful. But anyway, this is Joanne saying goodbye. Um, please like, share, comment, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and take care. Take care of you and take care of each other. Spread that love and spread that love of art. I will see you at dry results. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are for dry results. This is the one just like the one with white that it moved when I was taking it to the drying table and it got all distorted and I couldn't get it to go back or create something else. So I scraped it, I took all the scrapings and I made this background of light blue and this is what I ended up with. Of course you saw it wet, but now it's dry. And it's really pretty. I've got some blue flowers. And then some red. That Grenache and that gold is so beautiful together. And then you can see that hammerhead in the background. This has the sapphire. And we've got some swirlies in there. Lots of lacing and sails. It just really turned out pretty. I liked the crisp crispness of the white background, but I like this too. You're getting a shadow. But anyway, there she is. Probably should have put a flower in that corner and maybe that lower corner. But it's still pretty. I really like the flowers. I like them a lot. So. Okay then. If I already said it, I apologize. But I'll say it again if I did. Please like. Share. Comment. If you're new, welcome. Please consider subscribing and coming back to watch more. For those of you out there watching regularly, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You don't know how much. This is really keeping me going. Keeping my spirits boosted up. Which is a great thing. I'm tired of being depressed. This is kind of the pick-me-up I needed. But anyhow, take care. Take care of you. Take care of each other. And spread the love. Spread the love of art. I love you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.